Hello and welcome to Allegri Pickup Talks. Uh, we have just done a series about talking about theory behind active pickups and now I am going to show you a tutorial of how to build an active pickup out of the parts that I have it in front of me here. So here are our individual components. Starting from this side we have the cover which everything is built into. Typical cover, it has the two legs on either side here and here so that uh, we don't have a base plate with the pickup. Then we have the preamp, a little PCB here, with all our componentry here. This is where the header is going to be connected, and then this is going to be the back side of it. Our two bobbins, which aren't typical humbucker bobbins, but these are mini humbucker bobbins. Uh, we've got the magnets here. This is two mini ceramic magnets. These are going directly into the coils, as opposed to a normal humbucker which will typically have steel inside the coils and then a bar magnet underneath. This is going to be built more so like a firebird. Uh, you can make an active pickup uh, the prior way, but for this particular model I am not doing that. Got fly leads for the start and end of each coil that's going around each of the bobbin. Uh, we've got the, the header, which we're going to be connecting to the PCB there, and then a little bit of coil tape as well. So I'm winding both bobbins exactly the same way. Uh, we're using 42 gauge wire, which is typical of your typical uh, PATH cell humbucker. We're going for uh, ever so slightly more than PATH wind, probably overwinding by between about 5 to 10 percent of where typical PATHs are going to be found. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape the coils and get the fly leads connected to them. So I'm just looking for the start wires to that side, so I want the end wire to be on this side and the other side. I'm going to tape next to that and I'm going to tape next to this one on this side as well. Now, I'm going to hook the coil wire up to the fly leads now. Now I'm going to test for a resistance. There we go. And now I'm just going to take the whole thing. Okay. So now that that's taped up, I am going to put our magnet into the coil. Making sure that it's sitting flush with the top. And then I'm going to repeat that for the up one. Okay, so that's both of these done. You'll notice that they stick at the top as we want them to be reverse polarity for hum cancelling. Next is to install the header into the PCB, which is just a simple case of putting it through and then soldering it at the other side. I like to start with just one of them. And as soon as we've got connection there, you see that that's wonky on there now. 
so usually I can just push that into the correct position when I remount it, like so. And then, there we go, it's straight now. And that's held in by the one solder joint, so now I just need to do the other two. And that's essentially all we're doing to the PCB at this point. Now what I want to do is I want to connect in the output leads from the coils. And they're marked black, black, white, white. So these are going to sit like so. so. What I want to do is I want to pre-tin everything first. connecting them to the small connections on the PCB. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a resistance reading to check that everything's connected. Oops. Connected there. Yep. And yes. Okay. So now all I have to do is drop that into the cover. And now this is going to go into the wax pot to fully pop the coils to prevent the microphonics. <laughs> 